Please subscribe and click bell button. In this video, we are going to derive transfer function of field controlled DC motor. So this is the equivalent circuit of separately excited DC motor. This is field, this is armature system. So now this is field controlled DC motor. Therefore, field voltage is variable quantity, armature voltage is constant. So if we vary the field voltage, now the angular displacement will vary. So now this is Vf is the input. Theta is the output. So finally, we have to derive Laplace transform of theta s. Theta of s output divided by Laplace transform of input Vf of s. So we know the basic term. Torque is directly proportional to phi. Phi is directly proportional to I f. Therefore, torque directly proportional to I f. So this is the field equivalent circuit alone. So now for this, we have to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. So now. According to Kirchhoff's voltage law, Vf equal to drop across this resistor, drop across this inductor. So If Rf plus inductor drop Lf into Dif divided by Dt equal to Vf. From this equation, we can write T equal to Ktf into If. This is the torque constant. Next, so this is the mechanical system of the motor. Here this is the applied torque. According to the torque balance equation, Apply torque equal to opposing torque of moment of inertia and this dash part. Otherwise, we can say according to force uh, torque balance equation, the sum of torque acting on a system equal to zero. So now this is the applied torque opposing equal to opposing torque due to moment of inertia plus opposing torque due to this dash part. Therefore, we know dj equal to j into d square theta divided by dt square db equal to b into d theta divided by dt so now we can consider this as equation number one this is equation number two this is equation number three so now we have to apply laplace transform for equation number one two and three one two and three so now if you apply laplace transform this is constant therefore rf into ef of s plus lf into for derivative s yes, into e f of s equal to v f of s yes. then for this t of s equal to k t f is constant t of s equal to k t f into i f of s yes. next for this t of s equal to j into for derivative square s square into theta of s yes, plus b into for derivative s yes, into theta of s yes. So after taking Laplace transform for these three equations, we will get these three equations. So now from equation number 5 and 6, torque are same. Therefore, we have to equate this and this. So from this, we will get I of S. So here theta of S and S we can take common. S here, theta of S here. So within bracket JS plus B divided by js plus b so now we can keep I, if of s here we can bring this kt of s into right hand side so you will get you will get if of s equal to s into js plus b divided by kt f into theta of s so now we can consider this as equation number seven so now from the equation number four this is the equation number four from this we can take I, from these two terms, IF of S is common, we can take outside. So, IF of S equal to RF plus LF S equal to VF of S. So, now we have to substitute this IF of S into equation number 7 here. So, now from this equation, we can find IF of S. Then this IF of S, we have to substitute here. Therefore, from this IF of S equal to VF of S divided by rf plus lf into s that, that is this term so we have to substitute this term into here so in the right hand side the same term will come so we know for this field controlled motor transfer function is laplace transform of output divided by laplace transform of input therefore so transfer function equal to laplace transform of output theta of s divided by laplace transform of input vf of s equal to so we have to take this term into 
left hand side we have to bring this term into right hand side finally we will get theta of s equal to vf of s equal to kt f divided by this term s into rf plus lf s into js plus b already s into js plus b is available so s here js plus b is here this term is rf plus lf s this will come here actually from this term we have to take rf outside therefore here there is no rf term so we have to divide rf term then from this term we have to take b outside so here b is available therefore 1 here b is not available therefore we have to divide by b so we will get this term so from this so we can take b rf into here this will uh, our final output will not change therefore so we can take rf and b and write here for our convenient form so now from this we will get s into 1 plus lf rf into s 1 plus s into j by b so now this we can consider as km that is nothing but motor gain constant so now this lf by rf is we can consider as tf that is field time constant now j by b we can consider as tm that is mechanical time constant so this is our final required transfer function of a field controlled dc motor